Here is meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. A nice cup of coffee is probably going to sound nice this morning. Any nice hot beverage, actually, as we have a chilly start to our Monday. Over the weekend, of course, we had a quick burst of rain late Friday into early Saturday. That did add a little bit of measurable precipitation to our totals for the month. But this may be all we get by the time it's said and done. I don't see any precipitation coming our way today, tomorrow, or Wednesday. And then that's a wrap for September on Wednesday. So that means Boise may end up with just four hundredths of an inch of rain. will be about half an inch below average by the time it's all said and done. Ontario is at eight hundredths of an inch for the entire month so far. McCall, though, looking a little better. The West Central Mountains have seen most of the precipitation this month. So we're at eight tenths of an inch of rain in McCall, which is actually just slightly above average for the first 28 days of the month of September. But again, I don't think we're going to add much more. It is a cold start because of clear skies over the region right now and flow out of the north. We're in the mid 40s right now for Boise and Mountain Home, only 41 degrees in Twin Falls at this moment. McCall's at 36. Stanley down to 26, and in eastern Idaho, it's cold enough to warrant a freeze warning around Idaho Falls until 10 o'clock this morning, and then the area in that lighter blue color, that's a frost advisory for the eastern Magic Valley, stretching out towards Pocatello, and then up northeast towards the Idaho Falls area as well. That's also until 10 o'clock because of temperatures flirting with that 32 degree mark. So things are chilly this morning, but we actually have a warming trend that sets in starting today. We have a big ridge of high pressure that will really dominate the West for the entire work week and on into the weekend. So you see those clouds and a tiny bit of moisture streaming through British Columbia and stretching towards Great Falls, Montana. This blocking ridge will just direct all of that activity off to the north and the east. So even in the mountains this week, we have nothing but sunshine and climbing temperatures. Look at Stanley's extended forecast. It will be cold in the morning, sub-freezing each and every morning, pretty typical for this point in the fall season. Afternoon temperatures in Stanley though, into the upper 70s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with dry weather all the way through. So if you have camping plans, the afternoons will be pleasant. Those mornings, though, will be bitterly cold. So plan accordingly. For this afternoon, pretty seasonal temperatures. 73 for Ontario and Caldwell and Boise. 72 on tap for CUNA and Mountain Home. We ditched the winds from yesterday. So it'll be a really enjoyable 72 to 73 degree day across the Treasure Valley. 72 for Council as well. Upper 60s to right around 70 degrees from McCall, Donnelly, and Cascade. A really pleasant day in the Long Valley. East Central Mountains, we looked at Stanley's weather up to 71 today, upper 60s for Sun Valley and down into Fairfield with tons of sunshine and light winds. Maybe a light breeze for the Magic Valley, but still very comfortable. 71 for Twin Falls and 72 over in Gooding this afternoon. Tomorrow, even warmer, up to 80 on Tuesday in Boise. And then we hit the low 80s on Wednesday. That's how we'll wrap up September and kick off October with low 80s and sunshine all the way through the coming weekend.